In this video, we'll be going over some of the more unknown things in WoW. Starting off with Innkeeper Remy Dodoso. Innkeeper Remy Dodoso is located in Area 52 in Netherstorm. Area 52 is obviously a reference to Area 51, a hotspot for all kinds of UFO conspiracy theories. So the Innkeeper has a reference to a UFO movie called Close Encounters of the Third Kind. In the movie, there is a five note tune which correlates to the numbers on screen and have the musical notes of Re, Mi, Do, Do, So. In the movie, these notes are used in order to communicate with the aliens that have landed on Earth. So her name is literally just the notes spelled out directly, which kind of looks like a real name even. The tune is also the password used in the James Bond movie, Moonraker. Although, seeing as I've never seen either of these two movies, that's about as far as my knowledge goes on this subject, because I also don't know anything about music. Generally, my area of expertise are about nerdy hobbies and video games, mainly Dungeons and Dragons, World of Warcraft, and Yu-Gi-Oh. And now it's time for Lore Reader Tales. We'll be going over the history of certain lesser known characters from World of Warcraft, and today, we'll be going over a very unknown undead NPC in the undead starting zone named Gunther Arcanus. Gunther is located in the middle of Brightwater Lake in the Tirasful Glades, on an island known as Gunther's Retreat. On the island, there's just a whole bunch of wandering ghouls and a lone NPC next to a campfire in a tent, who doesn't actually have any dialogues for you, and no quest will send you to this area. What's notable about Gunther is that he's one of the few liches in the game who isn't a floating skeleton monster, and was even able to somewhat keep his humanoid form after converting. You see, Gunther was a mage in the Kirin Tor, and fell to the Scourge during the Third War, and was raised by the Lich King. Although Gunther was so powerful that he just kind of said no to the whole deal and walked away. This was something that wasn't possible for most people. Gunther was just an exception to the rule because of his powerful necromatic powers, and he knew this. He knew it was almost impossible for anyone else to break free of the Lich King, so he just holed himself up on the island and turned away all visitors, assuming they were all agents of the Scourge trying to trick him, which was entirely possible because most of the high-ranking members of the Scourge kept their intelligence. They were just loyal to the Lich King. In Classic WoW, he does actually have a quest. If you talk to Bether Ishard in the Undercity, an NPC located next to the Mage Trainers, he will give you a quest called the Prodigal Lich, which has you go to the island and steal a book from the Necromancer there, because the undead have been trying to recruit him into their ranks. Once he finds out it's his friend Gunther Arcanus, he gives the player a special enchantment that only Gunther would recognize, which gives you an in to talking to him on friendly terms. And basically, you do a couple of tasks for him in order to prove that you're not actually part of the Scourge and trying to trick him. After you manage to convince him, he'll give you another gem in order to contact Bether himself, and you can watch a little conversation as he has a ghost spirit of himself appear in order to say, It has been a long time, Bether, my friend. When time permits, we must speak at length, for we have much to discuss. And thank you, insert name here. Without your aid, I may have never found my way to the Forsaken. With the revamp of the zone during the Cataclysm, the original quest chain was removed, but on the beta of Cataclysm, they did have an updated version of this quest in the game, which was basically the same as the original, except it had an additional step at the end, where you had to tell Sylvanas yourself that you managed to get Gunther Arcanus to join the Forsaken, and she had actually been trying to get him to join for a long time because of his power, so she was very happy at the good news. Although why this was removed, no one really knows. They did manage to leave Gunther and his island in the game, physically, so they didn't remove everything associated to the quest chain, just the ability to actually do the quest chain itself. I personally have two theories as to why they probably removed it. One of them was because the original quest chain was done in the old vanilla WoW style, where you had to do long stretches of running between Gunther and Bether and Undercity in order to accomplish a lot of the tasks. Cataclysm tried its best to remove those quest chains from the game, that way they could have a lot more quests that were actually a lot closer to the quest givers, and didn't require you to run halfway across the zone in order to complete each part of it. The other theory is that Gunther is just too strong to join the Forsaken, and they probably didn't want an updated version of it to really cement Gunther Arcanus in the lore, 
as an asset to Sylvanas. Because with someone of his caliber on her side, that might cause a couple of plot holes of why she didn't just use him in order to solve most of her problems. I assume it's probably the first part where they couldn't really change the quest in order to not have you run across the zone to complete it, when pretty much no other quest in the zone follow a similar theme, rather than the lore implications. And since the quest was so tied to Bether Ishard, they didn't want to make up a new NPC to have Gunther talk to. So rather than moving Bether closer to Gunther, they just scrapped the whole thing instead. And now, let's go over a useful item in WoW. Today, we'll be going over the Grumpy Battle Pet. This is a pet that's obtained by doing a simple quest, where all you have to do is head over to the Broken Isles in Valshara, then head over to the town of Bradenton Brook. Inside the town, there will be a house called Heathrow Manor, which should be on fire. All you have to do is go inside the house and go upstairs and you'll find a dog. Simply clicking on the dog will start and complete the quest, and award you the Grumpy Pet. There's no other prerequisites other than just being able to get to this location. Now, what's useful about this pet compared to all others is that it has an ability called Super Bark and Howl. Super Bark is a special move in pet battles, which hits really hard, but also will never kill an enemy pet, and only reduce them to 1 HP if it would have been a fatal blow, which makes it the best ability to use when trying to capture wild pets at any level. And if you combo it with Howl, that will increase the damage of Super Bark by 100%. So with a little two move combo, you can pretty much lower any wild pet to one HP so that you can capture it much easier without having to worry about accidentally knocking them out. In fact, Grumpy is quite possibly the best pet in the game at capturing wild caught pets because of this combo. So it's incredibly useful to grab and pretty easy to grab as all you have to do is just go to the location and complete a single quest. And now for the hidden side of WoW. Today, we'll be exploring Heyman's Hideaway. Off the coast of Voldoon on the northern coast, a little bit into the fatigue zone, there's a little spot underwater called Heyman's Hideaway. This area provides underwater breathing and sea walking thanks to the blessing from Growl, the low of the sea. There's also two vendors which sell alcohol and trade materials, fishes which provide light, and there's even a couple of named NPCs here although none of them have any significant lore tied to them, which is actually notable, because generally, if they create random NPCs to occupy an area, they don't give them proper names. There's a horn you can click on, which draws a gigantic sea monster deep in the fatigue zone, which, if you swim out to, doesn't really do anything if you get close. And more notable, there's a secret hearthstone hidden behind one of the NPCs, that, if you click on, will send you to a capsized boat right off the coast of the Isle of Thunder, almost in the fatigue zone. And the boat is called Heyman's Hubris. Hubris, of course, means excessive pride or self-confidence in something, which ultimately leads to doom. So, it's probably safe to assume, whoever this Heyman fellow was, he was probably quite wealthy, since he had a pretty decent-sized boat in his secret hideaway in the middle of the ocean, was probably a Zandalari, considering the location of the hideaway and the lore ties of the Zandalari and the Island of Thunder, and that something obviously bad happened to him, which was most likely the cause of his death, which could be related to the creepy sea monster located right next to his hideout. There aren't really any answers to any of this, it's just a mystery put into the game for people to kind of discover on their own, and then come to their own conclusions. There are a couple of other secret underwater bars located throughout the island of Zandalar and Kulturas, but we might explore some of those other ones in future videos. None of them are as interesting as Heyman's Hideaway, though. Alright, and that's it for the unknown side of WoW. If you know of any hidden secrets in the game that I should use in future versions of this video, I'd love to hear about them down in the comments, as well as ideas for other videos just like this one. And also, did you know? Only about 2% of people who are subscribed to this channel also follow me on Twitter. Not that you need to or anything, since Twitter is accessible most of the time, but it is still a very small number nonetheless.